<laughs> now, if I'm honest, this week's been a bit of a crap week and it all started with buying online tomato plants. So as you know, I ordered some tomato plants to do grafted ones and from it looks like they're all going to survive what I want from the tomato plants but my experience buying online and tomato plants is I don't think I'll do it again, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the whole idea was, as you know, to get some grafted tomatoes to do a little comparison. So. The experience I've had with buying plants online is mostly positive and it's mostly, you know, the plants always seem to kind of make it in the end but this time packaging was a bit of an issue. Let me just show you the quality of the packaging. And I've had to open the top cellophane on this one but this is what comes through the post. That's, that, that rip there was how it came to me. It was still sealed in the cellophane packet, but this is the... <laughs> and I did a video when I first got them, and I'll put a little couple of clips in because I did this video and I was fuming, to be honest, you know what I mean? And I've had to... <laughs> oh, my mouth. I had to kind of know, I'd better not put that out because it was just like, I was throwing the tomato plants around and everything but 90% of the tomato plants and I'll show you them now because I've had to pot them on straight away but came like this now this is one that I've had I just kept for demonstration purposes <laughs> that's man it's it's obviously bent towards the light since it's been packed and sent to me and it's let's just show you this one again there's no protective cardboard or anything like that. It was just in this, and this is like the cheapest, hardest plastic you can get. And the all were like that. Do you know what I mean? That's like 90 degrees. And I've put them in and I will, we'll go over there now and I'll show you what they're coming like now. So, I mean, I've, I've got oodles of tomato plants. That wasn't the point. And hopefully, like you say, these will be all right there now. You know, the plants are like tough little things and all, but just, you know what I mean? Surely, just a little bit of cardboard to like for the protection. You know, as you get your Amazon books, a little bit of you know packing like that extra would go a million miles, to be honest. And and like I say, I had to open the actual cellophane, but this particular one came with this smashed. And the postman, you know, I actually seen, you know, he didn't put it through the letterbox. You know, God knows what would happen if he went through. The I caught him, and he says, "This is how it is." And what do you think? Do you know what I mean? Just to get it like that is a bit. And I'm not going to name who I, I got it with. You know, if you want to do, you can kind of trail through the videos. But that's not all. It's not been a good week this week. Let us show you. So these are the remaining tomatoes that I got, you know. And like I say, they should, you know, bend up straight and get, get okay. This one looks all right. You know, this is an F1, surely, but they were all on that 90 degree bend, and it would be nice to see what the condition is. You know, f you know, has this stressed them up anything? You know, coming through the post, has this kind of knocked them in the grown stage? Because we'll just go over, you know, and these are my Crimson Crush ones there that are actually planted a little bit later. Sorry, knocking there, but. You know, look at the quality, you know, of them. You know, yes, they've been, you know, lovingly cared for. So it'll be interesting to see, like I say, up to that. <laughs> that is just, do you know what I mean? It's not worth even bothering, really. But I wanted to kind of, you know, I was, I've told like the video, so I had to do it for the video for the comparison. So what else has been, oh, let's go outside. It's a little bit windy. But we'll have a little look. Now you can see as well I turned up today. And this this bed's looking alright with the protection. This bed, <laughs> obviously the wind's just too strong and it just looks a bloody mess. 
I've got to think of something else to do. I don't know if I'll just put some more of the little sticks in and just have it blown little like this because I've got no energy to do this one as well. So that's another problem. Then, come on, there's more, there's more. It's been a bad week, it's been a bad week. Excuse the wind as well. And the Celerec, Cel Cel Air Reek. Forget, I'm forgetting how you pronounce it now as well. See, <laughs> that's how bad it is. I've lost three plants there. And I don't know if it's the cold, I don't know if it's something kind of came in, but there's three plants. <laughs> they're just not there, you know, I just don't know where they are. So, I'm not too sure. So like I mentioned, it hasn't been a good a good week. And what was nice was though, me, me dad came up and had a look. You know, me dad was saying that hey, he's got some tomato plants, but they're only little dinky things. So I give him a few sets of mine, and it was nice to do that. Do you know what I mean? To kind of just there's so many of them. You know, I want to start kind of giving away, you know, them now because I'll only need I don't know maybe twenty at the very most. You know, forget the outside ones, but in here. You know, so it's nice to just give some away as well, but if anybody wants that, <laughs> look after yourselves, take good care.